Hello! So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to use uh, your FET, um, which is an online simulation that you've used before, uh, to be able to learn a little bit more about a different kind of circuit that we're going to be analyzing. So there are different kinds of circuits based on how resistors are connected. And what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at um, one particular kind of circuit called the series circuit. And we're going to figure out what things we can include as a result of that. And you're going to be using that, that um, simulation to make that happen. So first thing you need to do is go over to your Blackboard site. We're going to be using our Blackboard site for the next couple days. And then go down to electricity. And once you click on that, you'll be able to click on part A, which is the series circuit. So click on part A series circuit. You're going to be working down through all of these um, over the course of hopefully about one class period. And um, you're going to start by going up here and clicking an opening on the, um, the A, uh, and it actually should not be A, it should be saying C, discovering series circuit. So it should be um, file C, discovering series circuit. And it will look like this, and then this is the file that you're going to be using as we go along today. So the first thing that we want to do is talk about this idea of what is series. What is a series circuit? So think about this. Where have we heard of the word series before? Maybe a series of unfortunate events, or a, um, a book series, or a movie series, or TV series. The idea of a series is that one after the other, one thing after the other. So what we have in a circuit is something like this. It's going to be one circuit, one pathway. And in that pathway, there's only one path. And um, as part of that path, there are a series or connection of resistors all in a row. So when we talk about series, series is just going to be um, one loop. So when we think of series, think of it as one loop for the electrons to flow down. So one loop for the electrons to flow down. What we're going to be doing today is looking specifically at, um, at a series circuit. And we're going to be going through and looking at how this series circuit um, can be represented by simplifying it down. So currently, we have a series circuit here that has two different resistors. So remember, the little mountains here are actually representing a, a resistor. So this is our battery. This is our resistor. And as part of that resistor, um, we have a 5 ohm and then a 10 ohm connected in series. What we want to do is be able to create what we call an equivalent resistor or equivalent circuit. The idea of an equivalent circuit is that it's a circuit that acts the same, that responds the same, but looks a little bit different. So basically, we want to create a circuit that's going to act the same, but instead of having two resistors, we want to have one. In other words, when we do this, we're saying that we're going to have um, a situation, I don't know if I can find my old notes on this one, but a circuit where we're going to be having um, not just one, here we go, not just um, those two resistors, but having one resistor. And with that one resistor, we want to actually have the same current. So I'll go back to this in just a moment to kind of show you what's going on. But our, our goal here, as we're going through this, is to go and describe the relationship between voltage, current, and equivalent resistance for this kind of series circuit. And we're going to be doing that by going over and looking at this in terms of, of using and utilizing um, this FET circuit to make that happen. So the first thing you're going to do um, as we're beginning this activity, and since you're already watching our videos, you're going to go down to number three, and you're going to click on the FET website. When you do that, you're going to hit Run. And you might yours might look a little different because you're going to be on a PC, but you're going to go over and you're going to download it, hit Run. You might say that you're going to keep it, that you're going to allow your... Um, allow Java to run, and when you do that, you're going to click open. And as you go along, you'll, you should be able to get a file that looks like this. What we want to do is we want to create both of these circuits. So we're going to go back to what we did before, and I'm just going to, just for visual purposes, make a little line on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a battery and our other battery. We're going to take our little resistor, and we want to basically create this circuit, the two circuits that we had um, on our worksheet. So the circuit on the left is our series circuit that has two resistors, 
and the circuit on the right is, has one resistor. So basically we're creating these two circuits. Now you also notice that there's an A in here, and that, that A with a circle represents our ammeter. So if we go up here and we click on ammeter, we'll be able to slide our little ammeter in here, slide it in here, and we're able to then connect our wires and create our circuits. And you can make it look a little prettier if you'd like to, or if you just connect it like this, it should work out too. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing again with these guys. And once you do this, um, we're gonna have to make sure we make some adjustments because currently this circuit um, does not have the values that my problem has. So if you click over here on show values, you'll notice that this is nine volt and actually what we wanna have on our first one is a five volt battery. And notice how for both of these circuits, the original circuit and also the, the, um, the um, equivalent circuit, we have five volts. So we're gonna go over here and change our voltage to five volts. And we're going to do that for both of our batteries here. And when we do that, we also have to change our resistors. And you'll see that I have a 5 ohm and a 10 ohm resistor. So I'm going to change this one to a 5 ohm. All right, so now well, our goal is this. We notice that we have the same battery, same battery and we have a resistor. What I want to do is I want to adjust this resistance so that this current is the same as this current. In other words, I want to make this resistor adjust so that I read here 0.33 amps. So I'm going to right click on my change resistance. I want my resistance to go down or up. Hmm, let's think. So if I want my current to go down, I'm going to need more resistance then. So what I'm going to need to do is adjust my resistance. So let's try, try this. If I up my resistance to 12, oh, it's getting a little bit lower. Now I want to re adjust it again. I want to get it to be exactly that 0.33. So I'm going to go up to 15 and boom. Okay, notice how these are the same. So basically, as I'm kind of showing you this, um, the idea is this. You want in this equivalent resistance, you want these two current values to be the same. So you're going to adjust your resistance value till that happens. And once you do that, you're going to go and put that in your circuit. So over here in my circuit, I'm going to put this as 15 ohms. So I'm going to be able to put that in as my equivalent resistance. And we found our, our current to be 0.33 amps. So I'm going to put that in over here on my current value by that ammeter reading. And now we have one last thing we need to do here. We want to find our voltage values. So notice how there are these V values. That's going to be V for voltmeter. We want to figure out what our voltage drop is going to be across each of our resistors. So you're going to click on your little voltmeter. And you're going to put your little probe probes on either side of each of our resistors. And you're going to write that value down here. And you're going to do the same thing over here with the 5 ohm. So the 5 ohm, you'll write down your 0.667. Write that down here, do the same thing over here. And um, as a result of all this, you should be able to go and complete this first page of this worksheet. So you're gonna do this the same thing for, for one, two, three circuits. And then I want you down here to come up with an equivalent, equivalent um, equation for your resistors. In other words, you wanna write um, uh, the relationship between this resistor, RA, RB, RC, and how that relates to your REQ. Um, once you're done with that first page, you're going to move along over here to part four to be able to watch the video that will tell you more about what you concluded and how we can make sense out of this. Hope this helped. Have a good one. Let me know if you have questions.